guys, Cindy out of here with my RT Endeavors. How are you doing? I am doing really well. Um, what I'm going to be working on today is a design team collaboration that we have with Shannon Green. And um, what this collaboration is about is the Junior um, Custom Keeper. And this is just so cool. I'm really excited about this Custom Keeper um, because I want to use it to put just little sketchbooks in that I can put in my purse. And we'll get into that, you know, on the next video. But the first thing I'm going to do is actually decorate this Custom Keeper. And I just wanted to let you know these were the little goodies that we received alongside um, with the Custom Keeper. We've got one of the vinyl tags, and this is really, really cool, um, which is awesome. I'm, I might put that in there, too. We have an ATC, okay, out of vinyl. Just a small square, which I think is really neat, so we may use that as well. And then one of Shannon Green's uh, business cards, okay? So now what I'm going to do is, um, the first thing I'm going to do is take out the directions. These are the actual directions on how to lace up. Oops, right way up, Cindy. Um, how to pre-string or how to restring, I should say, your custom keeper. Because what I am going to do, um, because I don't want the cords all icky, I am going to take these out because I plan on using lots of paint. Maybe some paste, maybe some, who knows. So the first thing I'm going to do is just unlace this. It's very simple. As soon as I get a hold of the right string, okay, very simple to pull apart. All right, and I'm just going to set that aside. And then we also have this middle one, which is the actual um, binding, which I love this, the actual to keep it together. But I am going to take that off as well, and we just pull it out of the hole. So basically what we have is a really nice vinyl cover. So the first thing I'm going to do to this is just kind of play with it to get it to flatten out a little bit for me. All right, so I'm just playing around with the, with the vinyl. Um, these things are virtually indestructible, and I love them. Shannon um, is doing a wonderful job with these, um, creating these and doing the different sizes. You guys have already seen my composition notebook one. I absolutely love it. Um, so, yeah. All right. What I'm going to do, look at that, isn't that cool? That's actually really cool. I kind of like that brown. Now see, this is another option. I could always just turn the cover, cover over and restring it and use this as a brown, but that's not what I'm going to do today. I am going to decorate this cover. So let me grab out some paints. We're going to get some of my Gina Aaron supplies. I know one of the things that I want to use, um, these, this is a heart of Gina's. This is on one of her stamp sets. And I know some of this is going to go on the cover. I'm not quite sure how much yet, but we're going to apply. So let me grab some paints. Um, I also have this little bead tissue paper, which I thought was cool. Uh, let me grab some paints and I am going to fast forward through this process and I will be back.
right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I had a lot of fun playing with this. I wanted to do the, um, uh-oh. See, this always does this. These metal rings, just so you guys know, um, these metal rings on these tassels, they stink. And here's why. They break and they don't allow the tassel to stay on. See? So it's this string that they use. So what I'm going to do... I should have done this before I even put this on here, and I knew I should have, is I'm actually going to string it like that. I'm going to leave this on here like that. So maybe I can put the metal piece right through this bead. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, I just opened up the metal, the round metal that they have. I'm going to put this bead on here. And I'm going to put the tassel back on here. And then I'm going to close it up and close it into that bead. That bead will just throw in the bead drawer. Maybe if it stops running around on my desk. Don't know where it went. Okay. So anyways, um, as I was saying, I, don't need, I need to do something with these little duties, which I will. I'm just not sure what. So for now, they're just going to hang there. But I wanted to... Um, I wanted to string it a different way. First of all, I didn't need all three because I don't want to put three little books in here. I only want the two. And it's possible I may end up just going to one. I don't know. But I wanted to string it a little bit different, so I did. And um, I've got, you know, I basically used a yarn that I found probably in a Tuesday morning. Um, and I like the way it's strung. I like the fact that I can move those up so it lays pretty flat so I can work in it. I've got these two little books. These, um, this one says Light Tomorrow with Today. These are just, um, these are by Papaya 2013 Casey Mini Books. Um, I put a little pocket in here so I can maybe put a pen or something in here. And then I've just got these little notebooks. And what my intent is on this little book is to do start doing more of my daily drawings because I've been very lax on that lately and it's starting to bug me. So I thought, what a perfect opportunity to use one of Shannon's custom keepers, um, decorate it with Gina's um, stamps and, and stencils, which actually I didn't use a stencil. I just used her stamps. And... It's perfect. I can throw it in my purse. All I have to do is put a pen in here, throw it in my purse, and it's all good. And as a matter of fact, you know what? Let me see if that works. That pen's too fat. Let me see if I have a pen. That one will work in there. There we go. Now I have no excuse. I have a pen. I have paper. I have a great little place to put it in. There we go. All right. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun doing this. And um, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Shannon, love, 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 love these custom keepers. So keep them coming, girl. All right. Uh, you guys have a great day. Have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.